Hi you guys, so today we are going to talk about the Randomizer plugin. Basically, this plugin was made for post-production purposes. What does it do exactly? So, it allows you to take one sample and create different versions of the sound from the same exact sample. Why would you want that? Let's say you have only this sample right here. Okay, so I'm going to remove that because basically Randomizer is meant to be used uh, in offline processing. I just uh, used it now so you can see it right from the beginning of the video and let's just duplicate this sample a few times Okay, so we have different gunshots by the way This was a, a gunshot that we created in the previous video I'm going to put the video here so you can uh, click on it and you can actually hear that you hear the exact same sample, the exact same sound, uh, one after the other, and this doesn't sound very natural, okay? So if you put this in a video game or in a movie, people are, are going to feel that something is wrong, because in reality nothing produced the same sound over and over and over again, so we are trying in post-production to mimic the reality as much as possible. We are going to use the exact same sample and we are going to create different version of the same sample so it will sound more natural. What I'm going to do is choose these four samples. I'm going to press F7, okay? And in the plugin, I'm going to choose Randomizer. Okay, so the randomizer is, is pretty simple. We have four parameters that we can move uh, in 10%. We have the pitch, impact, timing, and color. So the pitch allows you to very simply have different versions of the same sound. So I'm going to put the color, the impact, and the timing on zero. I'm going to put the pitch on four. This doesn't mean that it increases or decreases the pitch by four, it means that the amount of randomizing of the pitch is 40%. Okay, so apply. Okay, so immediately you're going to hear a slight difference between the five samples, okay? So if we want to make it uh, more different, we can use impact. Basically, when you change the impact, it's going to affect the attack and envelope settings of each impact. Let's hear how it sounds. I'm going to put the pitch back to zero and I'm going to uh, use only impact. Okay, so apply. So you can hear how the attack changes from sample to sample. Okay, let's put the impact back to zero and let's go to timing. You should be careful with timing because it's it's actually going to change the length and the starting point of the samples. Okay, so let's put it around 70%. Apply. Okay, it didn't do much, but let's just try and increase the timing. Okay, so you can actually see how it completely changes uh, the waveform, but let's hear it. Okay, so this one is slightly shorter than this one. And I'm going to put timing back to zero. Let's talk about the color. In the Steinberg manual, it says that the color parameter allows you to change the tonal balance of the fundamental frequencies and its harmonics. Okay, so basically I think it's like a lavish way of saying that this actually changes the EQ parameters. Okay, so I'm going to change this one all the way to the maximum. Okay, so this really gives us different version of the same gunshot. Okay, very interesting. Now, I would say that if you want to have different versions of the same sound, you should use a little bit of each parameter, okay? So let's set the color to 4, the pitch to 4, impact to 3, and timing to 2. So just a little bit of changing in each sample, okay? Okay, 
Now the next thing you can do is just choose like, this is the initial sample. And this one sounds completely different. So I'm going to remove the pitch completely and, and, and click apply. All right. And let's, let's play with the color. Okay, so this gives us like a way different sound. So let's put the color back to a uh, 20%. Okay, so that's not bad. Like if you have a gunshot that is firing multiple times. Okay, so this is much better than to have this. Okay. Uh, what else you can do with it? I prepared here a sample of four footsteps. Okay, so let's say that you are working on a post-production project, you're doing the sound of a movie, and you can only use these for production recordings because all the others are bad or something like that. Okay, so if you use those all the time, it's gonna sound a little bit... a little bit repetitive. What I'm going to do is take all of these and just use the randomizer plugin, okay? And let's change the uh, parameters, okay? So pitch, impact, color and timing and let's see what's what happens all right all right so it's a little bit different each time so another thing that you can do is to bounce all of those, go into the sample editor, and use the threshold of the hit points, create events, okay, let's add another one here. All right, and now I'm going to use the shuffle mode here, okay? And I can just change here the samples, just shuffle them, okay? Let's see how it sounds now. All right, so that's about it. You have uh, four simple parameters that you can change. Uh, you should change and hear how it sounds each time for different samples. If pitch is working well for gunshots, it's not sure that it will work well for footsteps uh, or, or for other things. Okay, so you should be very careful with the timing and each parameter just change it slightly uh, up or down till you find the right sound or the right tune for each sample. And you should always, of course, do manual editing, okay? So try to change uh, the samples, try to use volume automations, etc., etc. So I hope this was helpful. I hope uh, it shed some light on uh, the randomizer plugin. And that's it, if you like it, click the like button, click subscribe, and uh, see you next video.